And welcome to Nerdstalker. I am Adolfo Ferranda. I'm giving my Todoist setup today. Uh, this will be my first attempt at showing my current Todoist setup. I'm, I've been using Todoist for about, oh, about seven months now. And I've been sort of tweaking it primarily on the guidance of, not directly through them, but through their YouTube videos, uh, Carl Pullen and Francesco D'Alessio, I believe is uh, how you pronounce his name. Uh, you could go to YouTube and, and see their work as well as uh, indirectly through a photographer, a photographer named Anthony Guina or Guana, Ghana. Forgive me, I just I can't pronounce the name correctly. I'm probably not. I'm sure I'm butchering it. Forgive, forgive me, Anthony. But I would definitely check out their work there. Uh, okay, so let's get into it and check it out. All right, so this is my setup. This is to do as I'm using this basic minimal sort of slate gray uh, type of setup. I like real minimal, clean interfaces. And this is sort of why I got away from something like uh, OmniFocus where it was very busy and there were a lot of toggles and choices and things like that were very problematic for me. Someone with a, in all of you with ADD, it's just uh, sort of takes you away, distracts you from what needs to get done. I uh, really love to do is clean simplicity as well as its uh, ability to sort of interface with every type of device, uh, mobile applications on all platforms uh, via web browser, etc. And uh, also now it's integration with the Echo Dot and the Echo itself. I'll just call it Echo from here on out so I don't trigger your particular devices out here with the A word, right? Uh, which I use extensively, and we'll talk about that later. So my inbox is really key. This is where I dump everything into. I'm tr sort of using uh, very much so a sort of GTD methodology here, uh, loosely, I should say. And so whenever I add anything from my device or through my Echo itself, I have it coming in here and directly into my inbox uh, by default. Uh, if it's coming from the Echo, it's tagged with the A word, A-L-E-X-A, -E if you know what that is. And automatically, I probably should change that because it's not particularly helpful to know that for myself. And then I have my, you know, today view is what I really use a lot uh, each day. And um, these are my projects. And these are mainly, this sort of model is based mainly on uh, Francesco's sort of guidance as of now. Uh, I'm struggling with it, always changing it all the time. It used to be a lot more busy, but I'm condensing it down as well. This do thing has been, well, let me get to this point here, right? So MIT is most important task. So this is sort of my daily task. I come from like an agile Kanban world myself, particularly. So typically well, in Kanban, we have something like a backlog, a sort of to do, doing, done type of scenario, right? I used to have as well as, and a waiting for column. And I would have something maybe perhaps called daily, right? Or day, these are absolute things that must get that day. So and MIT is essentially that column for me, uh, most, most important facts, something I got to get done that, that particular day, right? And then in my, my do sort of hides the guts, the real sort of brains and the, the internal organs, if you will, <laughs> uh, of what needs to get done here. So I break it out with uh, this, with some, what I call home personal and this is where I have my particular projects and then sub broken out in this typical model, how it goes is, you know, project and then quick next actions, waiting, and then perhaps the sub projects or projects that are related to your predict particular route sort of level type of thing, right? So quick next actions are, you know, a tag perhaps or something they quick next actions for that particular uh, project and then waiting for pretty obvious, right? And then my various um, projects that I, that I want to do, and those are broken out as well. So that's how that goes. And then I have my uh, ticklers, and what ticklers are are things like uh, concert coming up, print out tickets for the plane, print out tickets for the concert, things like that. Um, not to be confused with routines, which we'll discuss later. Uh, my day job, things with Nerdstalker that are particularly important. And also you'll see it's broken down into the same sort of model with quick next actions, waiting for projects. I probably should get this project within here. It's out there loose. Um, and then uh, errands are sort of where I throw my shopping stuff into. So perhaps I should call it shopping or something like that. I just call it errands. Uh, shopping is different than this one, the Echo shopping list. Shopping are things like I want to buy this or, or I don't know, whatever. Uh, clothing from, not from basically coming from the Echo, right? So the Echo I primarily, primarily use for two things, right? Uh, for this particular one, it's for groceries. 
right? So I'll say, add this to my shopping list, add that to my shopping list. And then it becomes one really long grocery list becomes really helpful because then when I'm at the grocery store, which is, you know, quite often that I need to go for, to pick up certain items or whatever, then I just refer to this on my phone. It's in, in, in your gold. Um, but getting back to the Echo Dot, I also, when I add things to my to-do list via the dot, it goes directly into my inbox and it is tagged with that A word tag, uh, which is not particularly helpful. So I can process it later, right? And then put it into its uh, relevant item. That way I can just capture ideas, projects, future projects, et cetera, uh, things that I want to watch and whatever. Um, so yeah, that's errands, basically a shopping sort of project. And uh, routines are things, your daily stuff, right? Or, or thing like go to the gym, right? Or take your vitamins or replace toothbrush hedges, um, heads, which are very helpful. Like things like well, I love are things like this, like an annual change your home air filter reminder, right? So who does that? This, this has been a godsend for that. Or even like a uh, clean the linens or, you know, wash your bedding <laughs> on a regular basis, things that a lot of people just don't do. And it's really great to have all these things sort of just remind you uh, as needed. Now, someday maybe I break out into, well, okay, we'll get out of do, so we're done with do. Someday maybe I break out into this, and this is sort of amalgamation of, of Francesco and Carl's sort of models. I have something called vacations, uh, video, Agile and read and another project that maybe I want to do sometime I need to get to. Um, so pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you do see some emojis here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of emojis because like I said, with people with ADD and stuff like that, the, the, I find them very distracting, especially all the coloring and stuff like that. And if, you, if these particular projects are color coded and maybe you have some priority things that are color coded, it can get really busy. And, I'm, and what I'm trying to do is sort of simplify, not sort of expand the the sort of visual noise, right? So uh, this was an experiment when I when I was fiddling with it. Uh, I like the black and white because it wasn't particularly noisy visually. I wish to do a supported glyphs. Let me know if it does. I don't believe it does because this is on iOS and and Mac, so it uh, I believe it only supports their sort of emoji character set. And these are the only ones that I could find were really black and white that were relevant to these kind of things. I'll probably remove them because they're just kind of like I don't know, just busy or whatever. Not particularly helpful whatever it's up to you and so vacations right so just brainstorming things like that you can break it out places want to go uh, videos will be things like uh, tv shows movies i want to see and then i also will break those out into things i want to watch with my wife things i want to watch with my tween right my my kid uh, which may obviously are two different genres perhaps and um so uh, what I have agile is I agile is a particular topic I like. So under here, maybe I'll dump old webinars or things that I want to watch that I just didn't have time to watch. So whatever, you know, this is someday maybe. So this is, this is where all your someday maybe stuff goes. And obviously things I want to read and then whatever stuff I want to get to. Labels, I have a lot of labels and it's a constant struggle, right? I try to simplify and then they expand out. Um, it was about to yay, about that far down where I had things like, uh, obviously, you know, my home and day job, and wife and out and whatever the other relations are, uh, they're all pretty helpful. This one, you know, is comes from my Echo Dot. I probably get rid of that, which would sort of simplify things. Although I think the Echo does that by default. I wonder if there's a way to turn it off. Um, I'm not using this Costco one very much because uh, I kind of know when I'm there based on my shopping list what I need to get from there if I just peruse it. So I, I don't know struggling with that one. And then this one as well, you know, that versus online is, is kind of like, uh, I don't know, they're sort of different because maybe perhaps you could do one on mobile, but not on a computer, or maybe you could do it on both. I don't know. And then this is uh, the GCAL one is when I was using the Google integration, but I got a lot of duplicates initially. So um, I, I haven't really been using that very much. I'm not finding the need to do that. I really like Francesco's model of putting in times in his uh, sort of today view. Um, and using that in, instead uh, of your calendar, kind of, or as a sort of augment, augmenting your calendar. But I don't know. That's still an experiment for myself. And then there's these sort of uh, time breakdowns. I'm not a big fan of time estimating time uh, from the Agile world. It's just a no-no. I don't like to do that because whatever. But uh, I'm kind of fine experimenting with it here, like things that could take five minutes, 10 minutes, potentially 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and an hour. 
Um, perhaps you can break it down to whatever sort of segmentation you would want. Um, but yeah, so those are my sort of labels, or as I would call them, tags for now. Um, filters I don't use. I, I need to make use of this. I just haven't utilized it. I've been trying to get everything else sort of squared away, and I just haven't really made the time for filters. I understand they're super powerful, and I probably should. Quick way for looking at certain data to attack certain things in certain ways. And especially on the mobile phone, this would be a huge boon probably. Oh, but I just haven't got to it. It's just something I need to get to. Uh, now, as far as all these karma points, I don't even use it. I'm, I really don't play that whole gamification thing. It's just not my thing. It doesn't work for me. I understand it works for other people and motivates them perhaps, but not for me. It's just not my thing. And they're not particularly helpful analytics really, in, in my opinion. Uh, so, that's that. Uh, as far as a wish list, I wish Todoist could do something like uh, Asana does in terms of I would love to see a board view, uh, something like Trello, a Kanban board type view, because I find that from a micro sort of level, Trello and this whole Kanban board approach works way better for me so I can see things moving, things where they're sort of moving from a to do uh, to do to doing to done type of flow, at least where they are, right? as opposed to sort of fiddling around. I could see how filters might sort of do that. That would help that. But I just wish there was an easy way to just view it in a board view in, in some way. I don't know how you would do it, but it's just a wish list type of thing, which is ironic, right? Because I know I understand Francesco is coming out with a video uh, in terms of how he's using, I believe, it in the reverse order, where he's finding from a um, a macro level, he's using Trello and then... Um, for a micro, more micro type of stuff, it's uh, to do is for him. Um, but for me, it's it's sort of inverted. Um, yeah, so so that is basically it. And that's my sort of to do is setup as of now. I'll probably update things on terms of where I am. I really love it. I love to doist. It's simplicity. It's integration with everything. How it's web based. Great price, right? Uh, works on every platform, every device. Uh, integrates with everything. Great API, from what I understand, for you developers out there. Uh, I am a developer as well. Um, and I look forward to really what they're doing next, because I know the competition is really stiff, and I, I'm sure it'll only make them better. So, yeah, I am Adolfo Franda. You can find me at NerdStalker on Twitter, NerdStalker.com, NerdStalker TV on YouTube, and thanks so much for watching. Go check out our material. We have a lot of really interesting stuff in terms of leadership, agility, uh, business, things like that at uh, nursetalker.com. Thanks for your time.